Hello everyone, this is Nick Red Ace coming at you with a new deck profile. This is one that's actually requested by one of the people I played against, so I'm going to put it online for all your pleasure. Now, what most hero decks are master of nowadays, this one's more a mix. Alright, so let's get straight to it. Phantom Magician, his effect, when he's destroyed, special summon one hero with a thousand or less attack from your deck face up position. Only one, only two really element heroes do that have the attack I should say to activate it and these ones are Elmet Hero Shadow Mist who when she's special summoned you get the change and Avion but really Avion is not useful so his effect is pretty much get missed out and get a mass change or a form change I have two Elmet Hero Blaze Man. these ones are one of the newest of this archetype and he allows you to get one poly from your deck or to, from the deck to your hand. And after, you can only special infusion, blah blah blah. Um, and you can only use this effect once per turn, but if it survives one turn, you can discard one. It's pretty, pretty much a Prisma, except with attribute attack effects. So use him to send, say, Wildheart to the graveyard, and then he becomes Earth with 1500 attacks, 1500 defense. But I use him mostly for poly. I have two Elemental Hero Ice Edge. Because they have the effect to attack your opponent directly. If you discard a card and destroy spells or traps. Which is pretty... It, it's it's good. It's very useful. Then I have three Elemental Hero Neos Alias. Who I never use the secondary in his effect at all. I just use him because he's a very high attack. And he's a light. And lights are going to be very are going to be useful later on. Uh, everyone should know this is the Master Hero Play All card, Shadow Mist. When she's special summoned, you add one Quick Play spell card from your deck to your hand. Uh, if she's sent to the graveyard, you can uh, get a hero from your deck to your hand. Uh, too bad you can only use her effect once per turn. So usually you'd summon her, special summon her during your opponent's turn. Then when it's your turn, you activate her effect. Uh, three Wild Hearts because you know. Unaffected by traps, he has no right attack, and he's earth. Two Avion, I just keep them because they're elemental hero and they have an element wind. Two polys, because I run attribute heroes, not just mass heroes. One emergency call. Three reinforcement of the army. Emergency call is pretty much the same thing as reinforcement of the army, but only for elemental heroes. The reason I don't have three E calls is because People aren't going to be like, oh, that's automatically your deck when you run Reinforcement Army. They're going to know when you do e call. They'll be like, oh, go get the Elements Hero deck. One ma- Three Mask Chains. Three Mask Chains. Uh, their effects allows you to special summon Mask Hero card in your extra deck, same attribute. Which is why I have Earth, Dark, Fire, Water, Light, and Wind. I think that's all. I think I'm missing one. Anyway. So. Yeah, those are mass chains. They're going to be one of the main cards of this deck. Use these for combos. Especially with Diane. Diane can do amazing combos. Some Shadow Mist. Shadow Mist. Some Anki. Pretty much Diane. Diane destroys the monster. Some Shadow Mist. Shadow Mist gives you... Uh, get into this later. Form change. Form change allows you to take any hero fusion monster, return to your extra deck, and special summon one masked hero with the same level as original, but with different name. So pretty much, I can run this later. Uh, this is used to like absolute zero to acid, which is an amazing combo. Uh, mass charge. Allows you to target one hero in your graveyard and one change card and add them to your hand. Very useful. Uh, soul charge, so you can special summon monsters in your graveyard. Three miracle fusions. They come in very handy. Three breakthrough skills and a one jar of Avis. Um Jar of Avis, Shuffle five cards in the deck. Draw one card. It's it's just a plus on the lens. Uh, Use that to recycle my polys and mass change or charge. So let's come to the extra deck, and then I'm gonna talk a little bit more than usual on how this deck works. 
Uh, I'm, this is probably going to be one of the few matches I'm not, probably not going to actually play, but I might. So, let's get on to uh, these cards. Absolute Zero, one hero and one water monster. Can be fusion summon, blah, blah, blah. Main effect, when this card leaves the field, destroy all monsters your opponent controls. self explanatory Acid, when it's summoned, destroy all spells your opponent controls, and all monsters they control lose 300. Diane, oh. He requires a water monster when you use mass change. A water hero. He requires an earth hero. When this card destroys an opponent's monster by balance in the graveyard, special summon one hero from your deck. That's how you special summon Shadow Mist. Gaia is one that requires poly, one hero and one earth. Uh, when summoned, target one face of monster opponent controls, pretty much cut its attack in half and give it to Gaia. So it matters if you use this on any monster and you attack that monster, you're dealing 2200 damage. Uh, Core, which is one of the newest cards I used, requires three heroes be f to be fusion summoned. Once per turn, when it's hard for an attack, you can double its attack till the end of damage step. And if it's attacked, or if it attacks, target one once you destroy it at the end of the battle phase. And if it's destroyed by card effect or by battle, you can special summon one level eight or lower elemental hero fusion monster from a graveyard, ignoring its, its summoning condition. So. They might not be able to get masked heroes, but you have Absolute Zeros, or Gaia, or Bright Wind, or Shining in the Graveyard, it's something so. Uh, Great Wind Tornado, when it requires an elemental hero and a wind monster, when it's fusion summoned, have the attack in defense of all face-up monsters or point controls, very useful. Master of Divine Wind, requires a wind uh, elemental hero to be summoned, your opponent cannot not that your opponent can attack with one monster during each battle phase and it can this card can up destroyed by battle and when it destroys monster by battle you draw one card goka requires a fire monster to be a special summon through mass change gains a hundred attack for each hero in your graveyard hero monster anki requires a dark hero to be special summoned its effect has it that it can attack your opponent directly but its battle damage is half and when it destroys an opponent's monster by battle, since it's a graveyard, you can add one change quick play spell from your deck to your hand. So you can attack, use his effect, get out mass change. Dark Law, same thing, requires a dark monster. Any monster, any card sent to your opponent's graveyard is banished. When, once per turn, your opponent adds a card from your deck, except during the draw phase, you can banish one random card from their hand. Shining. One elemental hero, one light monster, fusion summon. This card gains 300 for each banished elemental hero you can, in your, each banished elemental hero. And it, when it's destroyed, you can target up the two elemental heroes that are banished and add them to your hand. Finally, you have Koga, which requires a light monster to be special summoned through mass change. It gains 500 for each monster opponent controls. Once per turn, you can banish an, a hero and target one monster your opponent controls, they lose that attack. Koga's effect can be activated during the damage step, which is amazing, because pretty much no other card can be activated. If someone activates Honest, you can be like, Koga. Boom. Anyway, let's get into some combos, right? Um, the combo, uh, yeah. the combo I like to get into is Diane. With just Diane, you can do an amazing combo. So here's the combo. Diane gets on the field, destroys one monster your opponent controls. You then special summon Shadow Mist. Her effect, add one change quick play spell. Since it is a quick play spell, you can play it during the battle phase. Activate it. You then get one Anki onto the field. By using change on her. And boom, you now have, you still have one quick play, a uh, mass change. And you have 2800 and two 2800 monsters. Another interesting combo is that if you use either form change or mass change on absolute zero, since it leaves the field, it destroys all monster opponent controls. Guess what card you want to get when using these? Yeah. Acid. Pretty much, um, probably better use mass change to get acid, because once you do that, if you have core on field, core is destroyed, you can just summon zero. But I've wiped out many fields using at um, absolute zero, mass change, 
acid, their field's completely wiped, and I get 26 to attack them. Uh, now, with the Miracle Fusions, you're not, you're gonna really want to use them to summon either Core or Shining. Um, the reason it's good for Shining, because I, I was playing a match, right? I had Poly, I polyed Shining, Miracle Fusion, Core. Three goes and banish, and then you have Shining, now just gains 900 attack. Now, the reason you want to use, that's one reason to use it for Core. Shining, if you just have no monsters in your hand, and you just have that, get Shining. He comes to 3200. Very good. These are pretty much breakthrough skills, get past Beals. Because you know, everyone fucking gets Beals. So, I'm not actually test this deck. I, you know, I was thinking, should I, should I not? Fuck it, I'm gonna test it. Let's go. Well then. Yeah, because I'm, I'm just gonna set that, set her, see how it goes. This guy's waiting for something, I guess. Hmm. Should I do? You know what? I'm just gonna hit him with Neo, Neo say alias. How typical. I wonder if I'm going against an Exodia deck. Or a Burn deck. Really now. Oh, you're allowing me to keep him? You know what? Effective Ice Edge. He'll attack you directly. Wow, 800. It is a burn deck. Next turn, I'm going for Blaze Man. Blaze Man uses effect, reading out core. Oh, for fuck's sake. What do I want to do? Shining. Should I go for shining? I should go for shining. Now let's hope against all odds and attack. You can gain an attack, doesn't fucking matter. By the way, breakthrough skill on that, and then I'm going to run it over with Shining Angel. You know what? Whatever. Just fucking whatever. So that happened, and then I special summon Shiny. Ha! 
Oh, and I'm another miracle fusion. Too bad he's already in the grave. Hmm. Absolute zero. Marshmallow? No, it's... Don't need to burn back here. Yep, mutual destruction. Finally. There, boom. That means everything is destroyed. Come on. Come on. And what's it gonna say? Oh, returning to the extra deck isn't necessarily in the field? Yes, it is. Did Constelli here and use his return effect, it would have been leaving the field. It banished it. Come on. Absolute zero. I'm now going to put all of my rage towards killing this person indiscriminately. I'm quite literally going to make sure he doesn't survive in the round. Too much damage. I think great wind tornado is what I'm going to do. Now, this should be his end. 2800. That's game. Finally! Uh, no. Hope you all enjoyed this, uh, look at elemental heroes. Try more balanced mass change, form change approach. Um, with attribute heroes such as Great Wind Tornado, Gaia, which is really shit, but you know, you still have Shining, and try to squeeze all the usefulness out of this. So I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Nick Red Ace out.